contributions from the incoming ball. And this is something that's really overlooked a lot in tennis. Ball's coming from the cameraman. It bounces. We've got three options. It can be coming up to me, it can be leveling off to me, or it can be descending to me. And if you have a wall, an ascending ball reflects up, a descending ball reflects down, and many times the way you pick a shot or the way you pick a stroke is to recognize what you're getting from the incoming ball. Example, if I let a ball descend and try a drop shot, it almost never works because the down ball gives me a down reflection added to a down swing. So that they say, down balls hit up. Up balls, consider hitting down or hitting through, and balls that level out, you could do one of three. You could do flat, or you can go up, or you can go down. And what I notice at the club, and I, I'm sure you have felt this sooner or later, many players that, are, that love to hit topspin, low to high, will swing and miss at a rising ball. And all that's happening in my mind is the path of the ball and the path of the racket are at 90 degrees right angle, such that the collision is tricky at best. Topspin players like the ball to descend, underspin players like the ball to rise, and you can be the player that says, I get all kind of balls from the opponent, and I use all kind of swings when I get those balls.